Thank you for joining us at XM.com for this Forex preview video. I'm Cristina Marujos. With me today is investment analyst Cristina Parthenidou. We'll be having a look at the Bank of Canada policy meeting coming up on Wednesday and, of course, the outlook for the loony. Despite the geopolitical nightmare in Ukraine and its potential global economic impact, investors are confident, Cristina, that the Bank of Canada will raise its interest rate by 25 basis points ahead of the Fed next week. But some investors are also supporting a more aggressive 50 basis points points rate hike. What is your outlook for this meeting? Hi, Christina. Indeed, investors haven't dashed the expectations for a 25 basis points rate hike despite the whole uh, noisy situation in Ukraine. Actually, they're still fully convinced that this will be the outcome on Wednesday. And two weeks ago, the Bank of Canada's Deputy Governor Tim Lane sounded very optimistic, signaling that the rate hike is on track for March. Of course, that was a bit before the Ukrainian crisis starts, but since then, no updates have been provided. And with inflation expected to pick up further from a three-decade high of our own 5% on the back of the geopolitical tensions and the suction game between Russia and the rest of the world. And given that Canada is less exposed to the whole Ukrainian situation and could even benefit from higher oil prices, I think the central bank has a good reason to raise its interest rate by 25 basis points. Now, an aggressive rate hike of 50 basis points will probably be risky at the current uncertain geopolitical and pandemic environment. In January, the central bank decided to play it safe because the economic impact of the oil Omicron variant was somewhat unknown back then. Uh, now the Ukrainian geopolitical tensions look to be a bigger threat, even though Canada may get less affected compared to Europe, for example, as I mentioned before, though it's still exposed to international trade and apparently some weakness cannot be excluded. Moreover, the last Canadian employment report showed an increase in the unemployment rate to 6.5% in January, which is the highest since November. So I think the Bank of Canada will start its rate hike cycle to control inflation with a normal 25 basis point rate hike and avoid any aggressive rate increases as geopolitical risks are not very clear yet. And speaking of the geopolitical risks, the loony has well survived the FX Ukrainian sell-off. Could the policy announcement generate fresh bullish momentum for the Canadian dollar? Indeed, the loony has been quite resilient against the dollar and other European currencies which face stronger downside pressures recently. Well, probably higher energy prices are supporting the market, but I don't think that the policy announcement itself could help the currency gain significant momentum because the rate hike is already fully priced in and investors have uh, already set their positions. Now, what could bring volatility to the loony is probably a surprising hawkish tone which could uh, guarantee, for example, further uh, rate increases in the coming months despite the new global risks from Ukraine. For example, if the central bank assures that it may need to get more forceful in the year ahead, as some comments supported a few weeks ago, despite the negative global risk from Ukraine, then probably that could boost the loony. Also, any comments about the central bank's balance sheet at the case of bond selling following the first rate hike, as known as quantitative tightening, could also help the loony to gain some ground. And in this case, I would look for uh, a break below a 1.26 663 and 1.2665 in dollar loony and towards the 200 day moving average and the 1.25 for TK support area. Any steeper declines from here could confirm additional losses for the dollar and therefore benefit the loony. On the other hand, now in the bear scenario where the Bank of Canada is uh, showing some caution and dashes hope for six rate hikes in the year ahead, dollar loony could rebound once again, but only a close above 1.28 could make such an upturn more credible. Christina, thank you for joining me today and thank you for watching this Forex preview on the Bank of Canada policy meeting here at XM.com.